I'm so curious if you ever took a moment to think, wow, when I did my first go around of Spider-Man with the amazing Spider-Man, which came out in 2012, so about a decade ago, you were also basically up on stage doing Death of a Salesman, you know, and for you to now be almost a decade later doing Tick, Tick, Boom and Spider-Man again does feel like a weird full circle moment, right? I hadn't thought of it in that way. Um, that, But yeah, that that's pretty a pretty cool way to frame it. It's... Yeah, theater and Spider-Man. You know, I, I mean, what else is there in that that is worth living for? Um, in Andrew Garfield's moment, um, <laughs> it's um, yeah, no, it's it's two yeah two things that are I feel are very important to my development as a person, to my psyche, to my heart. Like Spider-Man has been my favorite superhero since I was three. It was the first Halloween costume that my mother ever made me out of felt, just this beautiful costume, and. And and theater is the thing that really kind of um, started to save my life in my in my late teens and early twenties, and continues to, to to save my life in the in the most kind of literal sense. It keeps me connected to life, you know. Uh, so yeah, and and doing tick tick boom, like bringing that stage play with these theater artists led by Lin Manuel Miranda, the the, the great kind of theater master of of our generation. Um, and with all of these, you know, this who's who of musical theater genius from that diner scene, but also just throughout the film, you know, um, it, it was it was like a homecoming in, in both ways. It was bringing that first home of theater onto a film set. And that is a rare thing to feel where you feel that sense of community on a film set that you can only often get when you're making a play.